Thanks for coming out today. Obviously a, a major event and um, one that we're excited to celebrate. Sorry about that. Uh, my name is John Hamster, superintendent here. This is my seventh year as superintendent. It feels like 70. I keep saying the same jokes every time. Um, but we are here to celebrate a momentous occasion. Obviously what, we, what you have, what you see behind me and to the side is awesome for this community. It's going to continue to be awesome. So. If you wouldn't mind, please stand for the presentation of the colors and the national anthem. big time and the drones are following. <laughs> Today we celebrate a dream becoming a reality. We celebrate a tremendous feat brought about by the hard work of many. First I would like to thank our school board, President Jeff Biddle. <laughs> Vice President Mike King. <laughs> board member Tricia Evanson. and board members Susan Robards and Rob Keefe. We'd also like to give thanks to two previous board members that were here through much of the early work and some of the middle work, uh, Mr. Walter Schunk and Ms. Linda Peake. Next, I'd like to thank our admin team who were involved in this process from start to finish. Please hold your applause until the end. Treasurer Thomas Lowe. Assistant Superintendent Corinne Hayes, Director of Operations Adam Lobeck, Pupil Services Director Kirsten Rogers, Communications Director Mike Morris, Maintenance Director Gary Davis, our Building Administrators Christian Tracy, Mia Neckel, Dave Kelly, Ron Mangus, Dan Rouster, Joanna Gotti, Nick Roth, and Jackie Gill. Special thank you to our partners in this journey, those that both help fund, design, and build what we have here today. First from the state and OFCC, Nathan Jones and Barb Matei Smith. Yes, I'll start with it. I thought she was going to catch it on the fly. SHP for the design work, Jeffrey Sackenheim, Jerry Durr, Randy Asher, Abby Anastasio, Dan Benfeld, Jerry Clark, Jim Messner, Jordan Hibner, Ron Cobb, and Todd Thackeray. Our construction team, first from Skanska, Peter Becker, Dave McGee, Chase Eggers, Jake McKinney, James Gork, Trey Stoutberg, and Matt Thompson. On the Megan construction side, Evans Nwanko, Obi Nwanko, 
Eric Morton, and Stacy Beck. This process dates back nearly five full years, with two levy attempts that fell short in November of 2015 and August of 2016. Much work was done between August 16 and the levy passage in November of 17, with much of that work a result of the folks here today. Thank you to the following teams that stepped up and stepped in to lead the effort in getting us to the finish line. The following groups assisted in this effort. The Community Advisory Team, the Ed Visioning Team, the Design Development Team, the Playground Donor Team. And when you see the playgrounds, this is one piece, um, we have one out back here, it's one piece that uh, got hung up a little bit at the end due to the supply chain uh, issues that a lot of groups are having. We got hung up on the rubber, um, what do you call it? Binding, the rubber binding uh, stuff. So we're still waiting on that. Uh, they have the, the rock down, the stone down, then you have the binding material and the rubber that goes on top. So we're still hung up a little bit there. But our playground donor team raised $200,000 in just over three months, which is insane. So congratulations to those folks. <laughs> also want to thank our school naming committee, which helped out, especially with this building, obviously, with Miami Whitewater Elementary, as well as our Pride Wall Committee team. When you walk through these new schools and you go by the offices in that hallway, you'll see five panels up on the wall that show the history uh, of both Miami Town and Whitewater Valley in coming together as one school. And you will see a lot of the history represented on that wall. So please take your time when you get to that area and check out some of the pictures. They're pretty impressive. Um, I want to thank also our band, our cheerleaders, our JROTC, our color guard, and acapella folks for being here to help set the stage for an awesome celebration. I also want to thank the Harrison Police and Chief Lindsay, as well as our Harrison Fire Department and Chief Hersong for being here and being supportive throughout the process. For the last 48 months, we've planned, designed, planned some more, and revised our designs to get the $100 million in new schools that you see here today. The journey was long and arduous at times, but so worth it in the end. Our end goal was to build schools that will serve these students of, the in our, of this community for the next 50 plus years, and we believe that this is the case. Benjamin Franklin once said, energy and persistence conquers all things, and those here today embody that spirit. Thank you on behalf of the over 4,300 students that will be walking the halls of our new or renovated schools this fall, and for the over 225,000 students that will learn in our facilities over the next 50 years. It's important we remember, it's the people, not the physical structures, that make us who we are. In closing, thank you for leaving a legacy and build, building into the future leaders of our community in this great country. Next up, Board President Jeff Biddle. Well, I'd like to thank all of you for coming out today for this wonderful day for the Southwest Local School District. You know, this school is the newest elementary, really, uh, when you look at it in our district. It's taken the combining the traditions of two separate places. You got some of the oldest schools in our school district were in Whitewater Township. I know, for instance, Mr. Shunk has often told me, who's a graduate of Miami Town, told me he spent three of the greatest years of his life in the eighth grade at Miami Town. <laughs> I think that's exaggeration, but I think it was the, not quite that way. But you've got the good people of Whitewater Township who have worked hard, supported their schools, and then you've got the newest elementary in our district had been Whitewater Valley. New people mainly to our community who loved, loved their schools, supported their kids, they're going to chase off the rain. Everybody do an anti-rain dance right now. But to make a long story short, they um, they love their school as well. And now you're taking the greatest of both traditions, both those communities, combining them into one, Miami Whitewater Elementary, where new traditions will be made. And once again, it's all about these kids that are sitting out here, making sure that they get the best education possible for the 21st century. I think you in this community have done a wonderful job at, by supporting and leading to these, the building of these schools. And at this point, nothing more can be said. The 
facilities for the future are here. These children are ready to be educated for the 21st century. So saying that, notice the rain stopped when we asked everybody to do an anti-rain dance. So at this point, I'd like to introduce the Harrison High School Choir, and they will be performing the Harrison High School alma mater. If those who are sitting would please rise and honor the alma mater. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Mia Neckel, the principal of Miami Whitewater Elementary. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Dave Kelly, my trustee sidekick and our assistant principal here at Miami Whitewater. Resilience allows us to face a challenge, overcome, and get back to life, work, and school a little bit stronger and a little bit wiser. For years, our students and our teachers have been learning together in terribly tough conditions. Despite the challenges, they continue to grow academically and socially together. That's resilience. As a district and a Harrison community, it took several levy attempts to make this dream a reality. From walking in parades when it was 102 degrees in the shade, to knocking on every door in every neighborhood in town, sharing encouragement with voters, to honking waves, and everything in between. Many of you here today got the job done. That's resilience. Last year, we were able to offer both a virtual learning platform and face-to-face, -face, never closing our elementary doors for emergency remote, not once. Even a global pandemic can't stop us, and that is resilience. At Miami Whitewater Elementary, we are unique. We're actually blending two buildings together two groups of teachers and staff members, two families. Our students are coming to us from all four former elementary buildings. Dave and I are building our Miami Whitewater blended family from day one, and I'm sure we're going to need to be resilient. At this time, if you are a teacher, staff member, or a student from Miami Whitewater, please raise your hand and keep them high in the air and be proud. Let's give them a round of applause. Our teachers and staff members have been working hard to move in, prepare, create amazing instructional spaces, and decorate our new home this summer. We are resilient. We have faced challenges. We have overcome, and we are ready to come back to school in our new home a little stronger and a bit wiser. Thank you once again to SHP, Skanska Megan, OFCC, the Harrison community, and the entire Southwest local team. But most importantly, our Miami Whitewater students, families, and teachers. They are our why. Welcome home. At this time, I would like to invite Zoe Campbell, Paige Jarvis, Finn Lockhart, and Lillian Toe. They're going to help us officially cut the ribbon and welcome you to our new home. Everybody, 